Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's end game. That's Yugi peoples, welcome to the discussion. All right, so I just want to take a little bit of time to talk about, you know, playing K. No, not Chaos. Cosmo Neos. You know, I played it in two different tournaments. I got fourth place in the Heart of the Underdog tournament, and then I got second place in the Advanced Format tournament, which, you know, the improvements that I made after my um, Heart of the Underdog tournament actually, like, turned out to work out really, really well. As you can see, um, I went undefeated all the way up into the final round where I ended up losing to There Can Only Be One ran with cash tiras yeah the the boss monster that they bring out now is not bad it couldn't be destroyed by battle or card effects with monsters of the same attribute of whatever materials and him himself had and then he can quick effect attach one material to himself from your graveyard so yeah it's like he was always you know able to match you know whatever it was i had on the board and then plus i think it was already a light monster and you know with heroes you know our monsters are usually light or dark um saving ab zero but of course with there can only be one on the board i can only have one warrior out on the board so you know game one i actually beat them in swiss but like game um game one and game two in um in the finals you know our cosmo leos locked him game one got tc booed and then the same thing happened <laughs> game two actually like cosmo neos locked on both of them the deck was very very consistent our cosmos neo every time i went first our cosmos neos locks even through hand traps the deck performed amazingly i think like the main thing about it is like i found it with cosmos neos decks in the past you know if you don't draw specifically like cross keeper you know with the one way to search it with rota or you don't draw engage neo space or in shuffle you know one of those cards or what's the other one um yeah you actually need like one of those three cards in order to get your spirit of neos out on the board and if you don't draw you just kind of like dead in the water you know a way to get there but with this deck you know i'm able to use just like the normal hero lines however we would normally play it you know instead of you know um you know instead of summoning shadow mist at the end you summon spirit of neos get that neo fusion get your last material off inside of there and yeah it was just very very consistent especially because i was able to work dpe into the combo so those decks like unchained labyrinth you know those different decks that would set back row cards are that would be able to um you know set a monster that has an effect you could still go ahead and pop it now i think that was one of the things that went wrong inside my finals match somehow i missed out on getting dpe out onto the board and i'm not sure why but you know i got the video i'm gonna show y'all the video for that match i don't think i was gonna show any of my other matches just because um, I think they were all just like pretty easy and straightforward double cosmos nails lock I pretty much I think I won a lot of my dice rolls But you know, I think somebody asked about going second with the deck and yes going second with the deck I pretty much sided out all three of the neo spations the extra vanilla neos and all three of the spells associated with them like technically i guess i could have left in the end shuffle but in order to make room for more going second cards and you know for consistency sake i ended up taking those out because i think i even like sided out the spirit of neos most of the time it just kind of depended on the matchup and what i was going up against if i was going up against unchained or some kind of deck that had uh you know what is it the floating monsters and stuff i would actually leave you know in shuffle in spirit of neos and you know instant instant contact and stuff that way i could bring out the elemental hero grand neos because he's able to you know bounce those cards back to their hand to where they don't get those effects i think i did end up like doing it like to a mirror jade and stuff too you know to keep my monsters from all getting destroyed during the standby during the end phase you know bounce them back to the extra deck so you know it can be helpful so sometimes you might want to leave the grand mole off in there but pretty much like all the time i was siding out the um the aqua neos and siding out the i mean not the aqua neos the aqua dolphin and the neo spatian panther but yeah like i said i went all the way all four rounds of swiss undefeated won my top eight match won my top four match and then get too old in the finals <laughs> there can only be one 
But yeah, their ability. So, you know, don't think the cash tier is just gone. They can still de shifter you. They still, you know, have, you know, their normal monsters. Like, you know, Fenrir is one of those cards that a lot of people are just throwing inside of their deck, and that card is still, it's just still really, really good. And then, like I said, they got a nice little boss XYZ monster, and yeah, it was pretty. It's a pretty uh good matchup, you know, and I then I have to give a shout out to um to the person that I lost to, Dennis Nottis, and also to Creighton Pre because I played both of them in Swiss and then I played both of them in the um in Top Cut. And when they saw what deck I was playing and like the combo and stuff with it, you can tell like when you're playing against a higher caliber of players because you know, usually, you know, they hit Vion. That's what they did. They hit Vion, but I was still able to push through it and pull off the Cosmos Neo Slock. And I noticed when I played against them in the finals, they actually hit a different card. They actually went after, you know, one of my other cards, and they were able to stop me from hitting them with the lock, you know, or just completely devastating them. So, you know, they were able to adjust their strategy to my deck that I was playing in order to give themselves a better chance to win the game. And, yeah, that was just, like, something I noticed that they did that didn't other players do that I had been playing against, you know, lately. And so, like I said, those two, you know, Dennis not as y'all know, he won a YCS not too long ago in Creighton Pre. That man's always, you know, winning uh, regionals, topping there, all kinds of events, winning win cases and all kinds of stuff even in the 3v3 event man you know they're good and like i said you can tell you know that they're you know a higher caliber of players than the other people that i played against because they adjusted you know where you would normally hand trap heroes to hand trapping the cards you know that um that stopped them from getting cosmos neos locked and yeah so shout out to those two there and then, you know, I'm probably going to play it again, but I actually had a request for a specific deck. So I'm going to see if I can make it work for the person who requested it. And, you know, if it works, you know, y'all hear about it. I'll tell y'all what I did, you know, my deck choices and why I decided to play it that way. But, yeah, we're going to give that a good old run today and see how it goes. And then also, you know, a little bit about my hand loop deck that is now dead in the heart of the underdog tournament because I was hand looping people. And, you know, like really, like before I added in the Divine Neos, it wasn't able to hand loop for five. The only reason why I was hand looping for five is because people would hand trap me. And because a lot of people didn't know how the deck functioned or where exactly to hand trap it, I was able to, you know, take the other four cards out of their hand and this week last week when i went to go play it i wanted to you know hand loop for five you know somebody in my in my in the video had commented if you summon you know um sunrise instead of dpe you can hand loop them for the fifth card so i really wanted to summon down my divine nails out there hand loop somebody for you know the five without being hand trapped and you know just do it but unfortunately that didn't happen they banned dolphin before the tournament like about i think, I think they posted it you know, like four or five hours before the tournament or something like that. But, you know, I was looking for a ban list to go into effect, you know, a couple hours, you know, before the tournament and stuff. So I had to put a Neo Space and Glow Moss that I found from my boy uh, E-Man. Shout out to him for having Neo Space and Glow Moss with him so that I could have, you know, possibly something. Because I still wanted to summon Goodbye Neos. And it actually ended up happening in the finals against uh, Makonko. He wasn't playing hand traps and stuff, so, you know, basically, like, kaijus and destruction stuff like that and everything so that he could, like, crash into them. But, yeah, we ended up getting a summon, Divine Neos, in the final. So, you know, in the end, I accomplished my task. I still won the tournament, which I'm probably going to post the box, op the box opening from, you know. Yeah, so y'all can see what I pulled out of that box because it actually ended up being a little bit crazy. And, you know, I just decided I would, like, um record one of my box openings because i never really do it but yeah so y'all get to see that video and y'all get to see the divine neo summon i think y'all get to see both of my finals matchups from you know last week and then we'll end up seeing what happens this week but yeah so also you know y'all know we did the last giveaway we're about 50 subscribers away from our next one so what's still available we got you get your choice of token pot of avarice or pot of duality and then the red sleeves are gone, so you have your choice between Obelisk Blue and Raw Yellow. And then for the playmats, you can still get this lovely Beasto, Bestial playmat that we got right here. That's got your favorite Bestial monsters on there. And then 
your waifu playmat, your Ecclesia, three shades of Ecclesia on there. You can pick one of those two, a token, and your field sleeve. And like I said, that's about 50 subscribers away. And yeah, just appreciate y'all for all the love and support, you know, and you know, thank y'all for y'all comments on my videos for helping me make my decks better as well. Like I said, the Divine Neos ended up like being clutch. Like I'm glad, like I think that's like one of the, my favorite things about sharing you know my deck list and stuff and you know giving people original different things to look at and stuff is you know when y'all comment on the videos and give me ideas on how i can make the deck better how to improve it you know and i think like this goes back even to my my xyz hero deck the one that like main d shifter and stuff and somebody was like hey if you do this and do this you can pretty much like otk people and stuff because they wanted to see like blade armor ninja and heroic champion excalibur and stuff and yeah i think i ended up finished like second place with um both no nah, i ended up getting first place with the um with the first time i played it then i think i got like second place with the more um otk version of it but both of them were pretty fine and i think that now with um cash Tira being gone and stuff that you know we might actually be able to run to get shifty heroes so yeah look out for get shifty heroes probably coming soon probably not for my locals but yeah with tears coming back i feel like it might be a thing that we'll be able to do so yeah appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next visual Infamy. My wingman, he come through, he level up, he go to, he shining out and popping to over 9k. That's a breakthrough. We on top now. Here's a look at all.